What's up guys? All right guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. So today I'm heading to a bakery. There's a new bakery open. It's called Wenzel's. I don't know how many of them there are in the UK or for the worldwide or what, but there's one that's open near me and it does look really good. It looks appetizing. You know, it's colorful, it's, it's new. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and give it a crack today. Now I was looking on Uber Eats and even the Uber Eats prices didn't look too bad. So that means it should be even cheaper when we go there. Run it, run it. So yeah, I'm gassed. They do like baguettes, sandwiches, paninis, you know, coffee. Or you can get a meal deal, so I'll probably get a meal deal from there. I'll probably get a baguette and a panini or something like that. The thing is, like, when you don't decide what you kind of want before, like, you feel like you kind of get rushed because they stare at you down in your fucking soul. Like, what do you want? Hurry the fuck up. Slight over-exaggeration. Uh, today's Sunday, I'm off. I'm going to go get a trim after this. Hopefully, I, I always try and go to the hairdressers early just so I don't have to wait around. Literally go in there straight away, get it done, boom, leave after 20 minutes. This wasn't the case and two people ended up getting in before me somehow. Nothing else to say. Smash a like on the video, guys. Smash it. Subscribe if you are new around here. Uh, yeah, let's it's fucking have it. Oh yeah, something I will mention, uh, what's his buddy name? Tommy Skinner, geezer, he loves to say, he pretty much invented the word boss. Well, no, he didn't, obviously, but he loves the word boss. He kind of brought it up. I don't know if you guys know him, uh, Big John and Wilbur Trust are now on TikTok. That's where I got the Bosch from, and it's now stuck in my fucking head. As you guys would have seen from the millions of Boshes I've been doing. But he went to Wenzel's, and he said it was very good. So I was like, you know what, that's that's more the reason. I already saw the Wenzel store open near me. Then I saw that he went there. More the reason to go. Right, back to the time lapse. <laughs> And it's funny because usually I'm all about summer and hot weather, but this year it just got a bit too much and a bit too humid inside, especially my room. So I probably just got really fed up of it. But I was finally like, please, all right, autumn and winter just come now. I kind of want a bit of different change of pace. This morning, check my phone, nine degrees. It was actually a bit chilly. I didn't need the fan. So I might be able to record in the car today. Let's go. 2022 and people still stare at you like what are you doing with your phone flipped it's just weird apparently it's still weird i need to go like more central london because there you can just do anything no one gives a fuck but this is a nice breeze though it does feel very nice maybe one day i'll be walking around like this but at the moment just down here a bit less bait you know oh it's nice and fresh hopefully that's what we're going to be expecting from our bakery eh? hey hey don't know if you can hear that sounds like an asteroid's fucking hitting but it's actually just a plane sometimes i think is it world's end but it's literally just heathrow planes just going by had a solid chest pump and like I'm literally walking and I feel my chest is bouncing. Very good. Push up bench flies. My ear is so dead, as you can see. Not on about it is nine o'clock on a Sunday. New German Donner kebab over there. Hello. Um can I get this as a meal, please? Yeah, you can. Or do I just grab it from over there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, please, yeah. And then, um, can we also get the southern fried chicken baguette just on its own, please? Uh, D brown. Oh, that's it, thanks. Uh, yeah, sure. Yes, please. Lovely. Thank you. See you later. Bye. In all fancy a cheeky Witherspoon's pint. Let's go somewhere else. It was under a tenner as well. Not bad at all. Inflation in that for a new place. Like the meal was like five pounds something. You can choose in the meal, obviously just a drink, you can get a coffee. Um, and I thought it said sweet treats, so I thought any of the sweet treats, but I mean, that would have been too much. You know, that would have been too good to be true, but it was still a fucking donut. So that's class. But you know, I thought I'd go with the sugary treat you know mix up the the video a bit instead of just getting oh, what's the other option like a packet of crisps which i've had in meal deals before but as what i'm gonna do no one out here at all but there's an aa dude of course there is stick it here let's go here right it's cooled down but it's not fucking winter yet all right let's read out what i got i thought i'd get an oj with the meal the panini meal that would have been two pound ten by itself ice ring donut would have been 99p Southern fried chicken baguette, I had to try that. I did go multi seed, a little bit healthier, £3.85. Ham and, I had to go, like, I feel like paninis, the classic panini, is a ham and cheese, so I had to get that. Fucking brilliant. No one should be cutting me off here. Well, I mean, my luck, this definitely gonna happen, but there you go. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the donut in the shop. Looks like a class donut. 
Right, now the panini I got toasted. Took about three minutes actually, funnily enough. They put it in this paper here. Oh my God, that looks unreal. Look at that, wow. All right, let's go. It's just an absolute classic ham and cheese panini. Turn the car off. I've not had it since like probably school, just like a classic ham and cheese panini. And used to slap. The ham as well, pretty thick. Nice melted cheese, nice mix of both. Cheese ball. Oh mate, that is class. The ham's been a bit charred. Not so Jay. I was, I was looking at the red ball to be fair. Well, I was like, I can't. Hmm. Well, even if you weren't going for the meal, like say if you're on break and you already had a bottle of water and, a, and you brought in a Kit Kat from home or something, like you'd be sorted. Well, mm. how much was this again? That's a good, oh, well, well yeah, I mean, four pound, yeah, it's definitely worth getting the meal. I only saved a pound 33 apparently, but even then, in my eyes, I brought a tenner to leave with a bit of change from that, class. Now I said on the thing that you can eat in, but that's more expensive. And there's about three, three stalls. So it's like, could you not just ask for takeaway and then eat in? But who'd want to eat in anyway? I don't know. Right. That ah, fantastic. Thank you for actually making it worthwhile for actually putting decent ham in there and a decent amount of cheese right <clears throat> right try this chicken baguette this is like um what kfc would do like mayo lettuce and the chicken this is giving me an absolute unit now the chicken is legitimate and guess what they fill it with fucking chicken well yeah they kind of do there it is there, guys. Wow. This is, I'm gonna make a right fucking mess. God damn it. Hopefully it's not dry. I'm actually gonna squeeze it down a bit. Okay, um, they make the chicken stick out the top, as everywhere does, but it's a high quality baguette. It's a big baguette, that's the problem. Okay, there's just a bite of lettuce there, which is annoying. No napkins, fuck. But then bites are, oh, the guy's coming. See, I pussied out. The bites I am getting of everything is nice. Look at that. What's that, guys? That right there is fibers. Mmm. That mayo is beautiful. I know mayo is delicious. I don't water it, but it's nice. Mmm. Honestly, first looks, I was like, nah. Might not be that good, but biting into it's delicious, and you've got crispy bits of chicken as well. Not bad. How is even the mayo and lettuce good in the bread? Mm. Right, I'm not gonna eat all of this right now. Mm. Right, that's just. I'm not gonna let it, guys. I'm just getting some of the crumbs out. <laughs> oh yeah. Yesterday I was leaving work. This Donny literally just had like three of these, just scrunched it up and threw it out of his fucking car. As he was leaving, and he looked like the kind of prick to do it as well. But I was trying to do something to him, but like, I was gonna honk, but I didn't, and then I just kind of, when I was pulling out after him, I was hoping he was looking at me, and I just went like that to him. Like, you, like, what a fucking ass, come on, man. Literally throwing shit out of your car, like, come on, bro. Right, thing everyone's been waiting for. As far as donuts go, I'm no donut connoisseur, but I've seen people eating them in videos and that, like, Krispy Kremes, and they look delicious. I'm gonna be so bloated when I get a haircut. Fucking hell. The food's banging. Lenzels, mate, I'm coming to you more. Here we go.
Ring donut. Subscribe. Oh, mate. Do you know why it's slowly opening back up? Oh. Get stuck to your top of your mouth. Also, though, I think Martin, I think he's like, he used to live around here, I think, so he's kind of familiar around the place, but it's in, it's in a really good spot. It's literally just outside of Asda. So you come out of Asda, you want a coffee or something like that, but it's in a really good spot, basically. Oh. Like, I do this sometimes. I'll just go and buy like a brownie or some shit. And it's fucking amazing. And you see why people get addicted to sugar. Like, oh my God. But still me, I physically couldn't just go to like a coffee shop and just like people would, for breakfast would have a donut and a coffee. And that's just a bit grim to me. Like I couldn't do that. But I can't finish it, I can't. I won't. But it's fucking delicious. I hope you guys enjoy me eating some fucking sugar. So many swear words, I mean, what on earth? Probably gonna finish that after the hairdressers, but that was fucking class. Okay, that was Wenzel's. It's really happy, first impressions, really good customer service, quite good prices, so I'm gassed. Thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Still, I got big video ideas coming in, just like videos where I'm out and about, like I'm trying to do them more. But you can tell just the confidence in me recording out and just like around places and car parks and shit will slowly be improving. So don't you guys worry. Soon I'll be out and about just doing all sorts of shit, hopefully without any worries at all. So yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys next time.